So you're thinking about moving to Vancouver, BC and curious about living on Vancouver's west side Dunbar neighborhood? Well, pay attention as in this neighborhood, you're gonna find some of the best schools in the city. Single family detached homes are plentiful along mature tree lined streets and all next door to 874 hectares of Pacific Spirit National Park and the world renowned University of British Columbia. In this video, I'm gonna dive into everything that you need to know about the Dunbar neighborhood on Vancouver's west side from their homes and their prices to the amenity options here, the shopping, the transportation, and of course, the education and schooling for your kids. And if you wanna know more about all the different neighborhoods in Vancouver, then make sure to subscribe right down below this video because over the coming months, I'm gonna walk you through each and every single neighborhood in the city and share with you what it's like living in Vancouver, BC. My name is Jonathan Lerner and our team here at the Vancouver Life Real Estate Group, we get calls, we get texts, we get emails every single day from people just like you that are looking to make a move to Vancouver, Canada and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving here in the next 90 days or 90 days, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email or schedule a Zoom call with us in the link right down below in the description and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Vancouver, BC. All right, let's dive into the Dunbar neighborhood on Vancouver's west side. Dunbar is located on Vancouver's west side and is one of Vancouver's most affluent neighborhoods filled with high incomes and highly educated residents. And traditionally, the Dunbar neighborhood has actually been combined with the area just south of it and together they were and are known as the Dunbar Southlands area of Vancouver. However, they are really vastly different in their neighborhoods and their offerings in terms of housing and amenities. So I'm separating them into two different areas and as a result, two different videos. So the specific area of Dunbar is bordered on the east by the Arbutus and Mackenzie Heights neighborhoods, Southlands to the south, Point Grey to the north, and then the University of British Columbia or UBC, as most people know it, to the west. The UBC Endowment Lands is where you also find the 874 hectares of Pacific Spirit National Park. And in terms of the specific streets, Dunbar is bordered by 16th Ave to the north, 41st to the south, Quenell Drive and Blenheim Street to the east, and then Camosun Street and Crown Street to the west. Housing in Dunbar has been famous for its classic single family homes on peaceful tree lined streets. And over the years though, there has been further efforts towards densification of housing and providing more housing. So in terms of more townhouses and condo buildings coming up. However, most of those are virtually all along the main arterial roads of Dunbar and West 41st Avenue. And then Outside of those roads, you're really gonna be finding almost all single family detached homes and then some newer duplexes popping up around the area as well. I grew up in a single family detached home in the Okanagan and <laughs> I absolutely loved it. It's what I remember most of being a kid and being able to have a sizable yard to play in and throw a ball, practice uh, baseball or just run around with the dog. And it was absolutely amazing. And Dunbar Homes, definitely provide that opportunity for your kids to be able to experience the same here. There's spacious lots, large yards, quiet streets, and a true sense of safety make this neighborhood a really fantastic option to be able to raise your family in. And then adding to the Dunbar mix, you can find in many properties with a laneway home as well, which is ideal for rental income or student housing being right beside UBC, uh, or just a convenient in-law suite for when family comes or be able to have help with your home. And when it comes to what's currently on the market for sale right now as i'm filming this video at the right at the end of october so you might see a couple uh halloween decorations there there's 18 condos for sale with a median price of almost 1.8 million dollars and so luxury high end over on this side there's six duplexes for sale with a median price of just over 2.5 million dollars and there are 65 single family homes for sale with a median price of almost 3.9 million dollars Dunbar is well regarded for its exceptional education offerings, which makes it extremely attractive for your families. For elementary school offerings, you have both Lord Kitchener and Queen Elizabeth, which offer education for students from kindergarten to grade seven. There's also the Queen Elizabeth Annex, which serves the younger children from kindergarten to grade three. And lastly, just one block outside the boundaries of Dunbar, you have a kindergarten to grade seven French immersion program, which I know a lot of people are very interested in, called Jules Quinnell. Now for your high school, you had the highly rated public school Lord Bing Secondary for grades eight to 12. And then outside of that, there's several private and independent schools within the boundaries of Dunbar or just outside of them as well. 
and they are separated by boys only or girls only schools. For the boys, I'm standing right in front of St. George's School here. And then there's also Vancouver College, which is on Granville. And then we have the all girls schools and there's three to choose from, York House, Crofton House and Little Flower Academy. Lastly, of course, right next door to Dunbar and just a short drive away is the world renowned University of British Columbia, or as everybody knows it here, UBC. And this university consistently ranks among the top 50 universities globally, so it is definitely an ideal destination for higher education right in your backyard. With plentiful and easy access to green space, nature lovers absolutely adore the Dunbar area. There's multiple parks to choose from within its boundaries, and on top of that, just next door to this neighborhood, you're gonna find 55 kilometers of trails at Pacific Spirit National Park. So there is no shortage of spaces to be able to escape from the city and recharge within nature. And if you have a dog, there really is no better neighborhood in the city to have easy access to green space here especially with Valdez Park in the area, which offers an off-leash space for dogs. Now, outside of that, you can find baseball diamonds, soccer pitches, and an area to cool the kids off at a water spray park at Chaldekip Park. Now, for the golf lovers in your family, there's multiple options to choose from just outside the borders to the south in the Southlands area. And there you're gonna find McCleary Golf Course, Shaughnessy, Point Grey, and Musqueam Golf Course as well. And then if you go to the north, you're also gonna get the 18 holes at the UBC Golf Course. Now, outdoor options aside, you can jump to the Dunbar Community Center, which is basically your go-to spot for indoor activities, your workouts, dance, indoor cycling, um, and of course the assortment of community programs that typically come with a community center. And then lastly for recreation, I cannot talk about the Dunbar neighborhood without telling you about the Dunbar Theater, which is right there. This place has been serving Vancouver and the community since 1935. Now it doesn't provide the same Cineplex style expectations that you might get from a big theater, but it is massively well known for it is amazing popcorn. Uh, and it is a small place, it's a 350 seat theater that just has one screen only. So they only have one show in there. Now, it has been closed and will be closed for a complete redevelopment. The uh, shops on either side of it are gonna be torn down and they're gonna basically rebuild, refurbish the whole interior, exterior of the building um, into like a 1960s interior, but then they're also gonna turn it, so they got commercial spaces going on beside it, and then above it, they're gonna have condos above it. So it's gonna be a big kind of mixed commercial residential building that's gonna be turning into. Not sure when or what year that the exact construction and estimated completion is gonna be, but that is is the upcoming uh, big change that's gonna happen in the south area of Dunbar here. Dunbar Avenue is a treasure trove of shopping services. By far the local favorite is to go to Stong's, which is right behind me, which is a boutique grocery store chain with produce and basically all your needs. And H Mart near in the area also offers a unique Korean grocery experience. Outside of that, you'll find over 250 shops and services along Dunbar with everything from your banks, medical and professional services, fitness, aesthetics, haircuts, and everything else. As for your dining options, you'll have a mix from sushi and pizza to coffee can your casual style pub eats. And then for a more refined experience and really a, a neighborhood favorite, you can go to a Tuscan style Italian fair at the Note in the area. Transportation in the Dunbar area is very accessible and it provides your routes to go basically anywhere that you need to go in the city, whether that is 20 to 30 minute drive to YVR International Airport or the 10 to 15 minute drive to downtown Vancouver. Everything you need is extremely accessible and close by. As for transit, with Dunbar being the most west neighborhood of the city of Vancouver before you get into UBC, University of British Columbia, the transit options are pretty strong and run often with many routes that are gonna connect you going east to the Canada Line uh, Skytrain station, as well as the new Arbuta station on Broadway, which is part of our current Millennium Subway Line extension project that's supposed to be completed around 2026. Now, one thing to note that I also mentioned in my Point Grey neighborhood video that I did as well is that if you are a student and you are attending at UBC, one of the tough parts about transit if you live in Dunbar or the Point Grey area or just more on the west side is that during the peak commuting times heading to UBC, sometimes the buses are very full as all the students are coming at the same time and they'll end up passing you and you may have to wait for several buses to go by until you're able to get on. So that would be kind of the major con if you're a student heading to UBC and taking transit. There's your deep dive into the Vancouver neighborhood of Dunbar. Now, if you have any thoughts to share on this area, please make sure to leave a comment down below for those other viewers that are watching this and are researching the different Vancouver neighborhoods in the city. 
And if you are trying to figure out, if you're one of the ones that's researching, trying to figure out if this is the best spot or one of the other surrounding neighborhoods, then make sure to subscribe right down below this video as well, because I'm making videos on each and every single area in the entire city of Vancouver, as well as Richmond. So make sure to subscribe and then right after that, click that bell, because when you do that, you'll get notified as soon as I update and upload new videos so that you can have the info right away of these different areas around the city. And if you have other questions about the city of Vancouver, specific questions or the surrounding cities, or heck, if you already know that you're moving here and whether that's in the next 90 days or 90 days, give me and my team a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or go right down below this video. And in the description there, you'll find a link to book a Zoom call with us. And we'd be love to be able to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you about your move to Vancouver or the surrounding suburbs. It's time to live the Vancouver life.